The ModRave app, aka the ModRave launcher, has just received a massive update. And today, I want to take a look at it and see if it is actually great. So there has been talk about ModRave completely revamping their launcher for a long time now. They already announced this a couple months ago, so we knew it was happening eventually, we just didn't know when. But I'm happy to report the update has officially dropped. Now for those who have not been using the ModRave app on a daily basis, this is what the app used to look like. It has looked like this since the start, when it was first launched a little over one year ago. I made a video just after it released, and I made a video about half a year later, talking about my thoughts of the launcher and if I thought it was actually good. But now, everything has been completely revamped. Because this is now what the ModRiff launcher looks like. It is completely different. So we still have the same three buttons in the top left. There is home, then there is discover content, and at the bottom the library. Now while visually it all looks very different, the premise of the home menu is the same. All the way at the top you have your installations. At the bottom you have a little discover mod packs and discover mods section, where the same mods and mod packs are pretty much always highlighted here. But then now on the right you have your playing as section. So this is the Minecraft account I'm currently locked in with. You can see when I click, I'm also able to choose Bradshop, which is my other Minecraft account. And this was already in the launcher, but it used to be in the top left corner. Now that just houses a nice ModRiff logo, and the playing as section has just moved to here on the right, which in my opinion looks pretty clean. Then beneath that we have a friends section. Yes, you can have friends now. So when you click on sign in, you will need to sign in with your ModRiff account, and after that you can click on add friends and fill in a modern username to add them to your friend list. That is really, really cool. Now, when you click on the three dots next to friends, you're able to view friend requests. So when I click on there, you can see I already got a friend request from both Bernie and Balint. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll accept them. There we go. And now they will be listed as my friends over here. Now, scrolling further down, you will see news. These are just news articles, essentially, that ModRiff posts to their blog, where they, for example, introduce new stuff. So here they introduce ModRiff servers. Here they talked about sustainability. Ability. Here they talked about ModRiff Plus, and I'm sure a lot more will appear here in the future. And then at the bottom, you got an ad. Now, why it is showing like this for me right now, I have no clue. But it's an ad, and we expected that to happen. It is unfortunate, we don't want ads, especially not in a launcher. But I also get that ModRiff needs to think about sustainability and making enough revenue. And of course, revenue sharing is also a very big part of ModRiff now. If you are a creator and you upload your stuff to ModRiff, you will earn from that. And the only reason that is possible is partly because of these ads. So they are important. Now, if you don't want to see ads, of course, you can upgrade to ModRiff Plus. I made a video about this before. It is 5 euros per month. It will support creators and go ad free. So you can get rid of the ads, but it will cost you a little. Now, over here, you can see my installations. And you might notice something. You can see when you've last played an installation. So that is very interesting. So when I click on my current installation, which is the one I'm running right now. This is the menu that will open. So you can see the title of the installation, if it is currently running or not, the version the installation is running, but now also playtime. So currently I've played this installation of Performium for 17 hours. And when you scroll down, you will see all the content that this installation includes. You can update all the content with a simple update all button, which will just update every single individual mod, which in the case of a mod pack that you downloaded from someone, is not recommended. But what you can do is simply click on update pack, which will then allow you to choose a new version of the mod pack that will override the current one. That is really, really cool. Now, the reality is most functionality here is the same. We already had most of these things before. It just all looks a lot nicer. Like we can, for example, very easily sort this mod pack now. So when I click on mods, I'll only see mods. When I click on resource packs, I will only see resource packs. Same thing goes for shaders and same thing goes for resources that need Need an update. Now the library tab is also the same as before. One place where you will just see all of your installations. Except now all of these cards, if you could call them that, are just a lot smaller, a lot more compact, and in my opinion a lot cleaner. But something that's completely new is these installations here on the sidebar. So these are all mod packs I have installed. And when I for example click on Performium, it will 
take me to the page right away and I can boot it with just a single click. It is so convenient. And if you want to create a new installation, you can simply click on the plus button all the way at the bottom of the sidebar and bam, you're able to choose whatever you want to install. So I'm going to call it test. I'm going to run NeoForge in version 1.21.4, create and bam, there it goes. It's working on it. And now we can simply click on the newly created test installation and bam, we can start adding content. By the way, this is such a cute new image <laughs> when you don't have any content installed. That one was not there before, 100%, but I love it. And when you click on install content, you'll be taken to this page, which is also completely revamped. And here you will now get a list with mods you can install. Now you can see that everything is sorted on mods that are available for 1.21.4 and NeoForge. And they have a little lock next to them. Reason being, this version and mod loader are provided by the instance. So the installation we just created. That is awesome though. And now for one of the only things I don't like about this launcher, it is definitely this category list on the right. I mean, it looks great, don't get me wrong. I just don't like this massive ad kind of thing hovering at the bottom of it. And I know that having an ad in the ModRimp launcher is necessary for ModRimp to run as a platform. But the ad here takes up so much space that it kind of feels annoying in a way that you just can't really see everything you want to see because that annoying ad is in the way. I don't know, I don't like the visual style of it at all, but maybe that's just me. Now, other than that, we have a settings button in the bottom left. When we click on there, you'll be able to change your appearance. You'll be able to change your privacy settings, which is really, really cool. So if you don't want personalized ads, which I know a lot of people dislike, you can make sure you don't get them. Then here we have Java installations, and this is awesome. It allows you to install java so currently it seems like i only have java 21 installed these two don't have a path so i assume i don't have them installed but you can install them with just a single click and that is massive because you need java on your pc to be able to run mods and now the modern launcher will just install that for you which is great but then we have the default instant options which are just some default settings we had these before and it has just all been put into a new menu and then at the bottom the resource management i'm glad they split these up because first the default instance options and the resource management options were on the same page that is no longer the case now they've been split off they have different tabs now and they look great now there is one thing i think is still missing in this launcher and it is definitely modrimf servers now i don't use modrimf servers myself but for those who are using modrimf servers how awesome would it be if you could just manage those servers straight from your ModRimp app. They would really turn the ModRimp app into an all-in-one stop for everything ModRimp. And I like that. I think that's a super cool idea. Now, to be fair, they just launched this app. I definitely think they're going to be doing something like that in the future. But I guess time will tell. Now, do let me know what you think about the new ModRimp app. I would love to hear in the comments. And that's going to be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much channel members and then i'll see you in the next one bye bye see you later bye bye